All right, we have some news. Earlier this morning, T.J. Dillashaw successfully made weight ahead of his title bite with UFC uh, flyweight champion Henry Cejudo as we get set for UFC's debut tomorrow night on ESPN+. Plus. A huge night for all of us, and we are delighted to have Dana White here. Welcome, and thank you very much. Thank you. And I am told that you have some breaking news for us here that Cejudo and Dillashaw are going to be facing off for a brand-new belt. Yeah, so uh, as we go into this next generation with ESPN, um, it was time for us to change up the belt. So, uh, yeah, these guys will fight for the first All right. brand so new championship belt. This is Brandon, our stage manager, and this is the brand new belt. Can we yep. show everybody that? So this is what they'll be fighting for tomorrow night on ESPN. <sighs> it's pretty nice. Beautiful. And I'm not going to lie to you, having just held it for a second, it is very, very heavy. Very heavy. Now, this is by no means the first super fight that you have put together, but what intrigued you the most about this particular matchup? You know, any time that you can do champion versus champion, and, and you have what's incredible is, think about this, Dillashaw cuts down to 135 pounds. He cuts weight to 135. Right. He's a 135-pound champion. He had to go another 10 to make 125 to go down and try to take Cejudo's belt. And like he said yesterday, a lot of people will move up a weight class. Very few people move down to try to, uh, to try to win another belt. That's why him making weight, I led the conversation by mentioning his making weight is significant here. So he has, that's all done and that's yeah. all set. We had Cejudo here earlier this week and he was very put off. Dillashaw's already talking about what he's going to do after this fight and going up to 145. And Cejudo, who's an Olympic champ and a very prideful guy, he seemed to take that very personally. Yeah, he, he said it again yesterday, man. Stop looking through me. You're looking through me and it's a big mistake, which I don't think Dillashaw is looking through him. Dillashaw's been around for a long time. He knows Cejudo's tough. Um, but on, on the flip side, he's talking about moving up to 145 pounds to face Max Holloway, mm -hmm. which Max Holloway is so much bigger than him. Um, pretty crazy, but impressive. Uh, I, I, I like his style. I like what he's thinking. He'd be the first three-belt champion. Uh, if you could pull that off. I, and just quickly, because I'm sure there are so many people who are ESPN viewers who don't know everything, the ins and outs of UFC, the way they may football or baseball. What's at stake here? Yep. Set the scene of what so, is at stake in this fight for both. This is a super fight. When you talk super fights, it means uh, two champions, champion versus champion. You have Dillashaw, the 135-pound champion, Cejudo, the 125-pound champion. He's going to move down 10 more pounds to try to take his belt and be a two-weight champion. Uh, these super fights, anytime you can get two of the best, absolute best in the world. When I say best in the world, both world champions. Cejudo is, is, is a former uh, Olympic gold medalist, right. too. And, you know, great fight between two incredible athletes. This is as good as it gets. doesn't get any better than this. One other thing I want to ask you, because Greg Hardy will be on this card, and most people watching us probably do know his story from the NFL, the issues with right. domestic violence, the transition to MMA, now making a UFC card. What went into the decision to put him on this card? Yeah, well, it, it was time. We, we wanted to put him on this card. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk. The reason people are asking about this card, because Rachel Ostrovich is on this card, Correct. too, who just went through a situation. Um, I, I, they're both UFC athletes. They're both on my roster. They were going to end up on a card eventually, and this would be the top of this uh, of discussion, whether it was this card or 10 fights from now. So is, this guy hit rock bottom. Worked himself back up, lost everything, you know, paid his dues, did everything he was supposed to do, um, and he's getting another shot. What is Rachel's uh, reaction to fighting on the same card? She had no problem with it, and she said, his story isn't my story. I don't even know the guy. He's never done anything to me, and uh, no, she's cool. What reaction have you heard from people about that, specifically Zero. about Hardy? Zero. I've heard nothing. Okay, well, we'll, well see Well, you what just happens. asked me a question. Again, okay, so... Uh, like one other guy, and that's it. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what happens there. But again, tomorrow night, it is the huge night for us at ESPN. UFC comes. It's at Barclays Center right across the river here from us in Brooklyn. Cejudo and Dillashaw, a super fight, and we are delighted to have it. Thank you very Thank much, you. and good luck tomorrow night.